How to Create Mandatory Profile in Windows Server 2019, Step-by-Step -step Guide. Go to Server Manager. Go to Tools. Go to Active Directory User and Computer. Create New User. Fill Username. User Logon Name and Password. In my case my user name is Bob. After create a new user. Go to drive where you want to create a new folder. In my case I am going to create a new folder in D drive. Fill folder name whatever you want to name the folder. I named my folder profiles. Share this profile folder with everyone full permission. After sharing this folder copy the network path of this folder. After copy the network path go to ADUC. Go to Users. Right click on Bob and select Properties. Click Profile tab. Paste the network path. Slash percentage username percentage. Copy the profile path. Click on connect choose any drive letter and paste the path. Click on apply. Click on OK. Close all consoles. Go to client machine. Log on as Bob user. After log on Bob user. I am changed some basic settings like icon on desktop. I am create a new shortcut on server in Bob desktop. Create a new shortcut map network drive on Bob user desktop. Auto arrange desktop icons. Go to this PC properties. Click advanced system settings. Fill administrator user and password. Click on settings under user profile. Currently Bob is showing roaming user profile. Now watch carefully how to convert it to mandatory. Click on OK. 
Click on OK. Sign out Bob user. Go to server. Open profiles folder. Currently showing two folders of Bob. One is the network home folder in which Bob will store his data and the other version is 6, which has all the settings of Bob's user profile. Double click on Bob version 6 folder. Cannot even open the folder administrator of Bob version 6. To open this, the administrator has to take ownership of this folder, then the administrator will be able to open it. Go to Properties Bob version 6 folder. Click Security tab. Click Advanced. Click Change. Fill Administrator and click Check Name. Select Administrator. Click on OK. Click on Replace the Owner on Subcontainers and Object. Click on Apply. Click on Yes. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. Open the Bob version 6 folder. Some files are already hidden, such as ntuser.dat. We have to unhide this file. Click on View. Click on Options. Click Change Folder and Search Options. Click on View. Select Show Hidden Files and Folder and Drive. Uncheck the Hide Protected Operating System. Click on Yes. Click on OK. Rename the ntuser.dat file to ntuser.man. Click on Yes. To rename this file we have to go to the Security tab again. Click Advanced. Click Replace All Child Object Permission Entire with Inheritable Permission Entries Form This Object. Click on OK. Click on Yes. Click on OK. Rename the ntuser.dat file to ntuser.man. Click on Yes. After change the name go to Profiles folder. Go to Properties Bob version 6 folder. Click Security tab. Click Advanced. Now we have to change the ownership again and make Bob an owner. Because Bob's folder is currently owned by an administrator. Otherwise Bob's user profile will be useless. Click Change. Fill Bob and click Check Name. Click on OK. Click on Replace the Owner on Subcontainers and Object. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Remove the administrator in permission entries. Click on Add. Click Select a Principal. Fill Bob and click Check Name. Click on OK. Click Full Control. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. Go to run and type GP update.
hide the file folder and drives. Click the hide protected operating system file, click on apply. Click on OK. Close all consoles. Go to client machine. Log on as Bob user. Go to run and type sysdm.cpl Fill administrator user and password Click advanced Click on settings under user profile See the Bob user profile it is showing mandatory profile. In this mandatory profile user cannot change the desktop related settings like add or delete data or icons etc. Currently I am deleting the both shotcut. Sign out Bob user. Sign in again Bob user. The shortcuts we deleted came back. This means our mandatory profile is doing working well. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.